Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video of Just For Quay. I hope you're all keeping safe, keeping well, doing well. Everyone's staying out of trouble. Um, nice sunny day in London today. Um, so I'm out here. I'm gonna start off all this um, cladding, all this painting ceiling on the filter house um, finish this project get it all done and dusted um, i've received all the cladding monday so gonna start doing all the ceiling underneath the window ledges all underneath the tile everywhere that needs to get sealed i'm gonna take out the windows um, from where i put them take them all out start painting all the um, frame, start painting all the window ledges. I'm in two minds of if I should paint the windows itself as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the windows out. Um, most of them you can take out anyway, as I've mentioned before, you can just pull them out. Um, take all the windows out, give it a little of paint, one coat. It's gonna be definitely two coats on there. Um, possibly hit the third coat on there um, on the directions on the tin it just says give it two coats um, uh, four hours between so we'll see how it goes I'm gonna take the windows out anyway give it all the paint paint all the um, window ledges put place the windows back in see how it looks and if I'm happy with that I'm gonna leave it as it is so I can just break down the gray a little bit so I do like the color of the natural looking wood um if it don't look finished and they need to get painted i'm just gonna take the windows back down again um take off the um floorboard sheeting that's being stapled onto the windows um take them off the staples won't be hard just take a little bit of my time take them off give them a paint as well and the windows are all done bush put them back in all sweet um turn you guys around and I'll show you the uh, cladding and the paint and the sealant that we're going to finish this job with and um, we'll take it from there okay so I'll catch you guys in a sec okay for those that have you um, seen the previous videos I used um, this sealant over here from Unibond for outdoors um, it's a grey colour and um, if you guys remember done a very professional job right over here so that's what I'm going to be using to seal all of that up um, this is the paint that I'm going to be using from Ron Seal and it's a charcoal color same color as the um, cladding so that's what we're going to be using for that and on the tin it's the direction show you basically hit it with two coats give it a four hours hit the first coat four hours later give it another coat so I might go with three we'll see how it looks if it gives the color that I exactly want so and this is all the cladding that's arrived they're 3.6 meters long and I believe they're 132 or 134 mils wide. Um, don't hold me to my word to that because I can't quite remember. But these are the claddings. And these are all the corner edgings that are going to be going on. Turn this around. Ah. So these are the edgings. Edgings look really nice as well. All good quality stuff like I've mentioned before. If anyone's interested in anything, um, just pop it down on the comments and I'll just let you guys know um, where I purchased this from. Morning beautiful. Okay. So let's start cracking on. Taking out all the windows and we can start sealing and get the first paint on and we'll see how it looks. I'm not gonna be 
making a video of how I'm gonna be sealing it. Once I get all the seat sealing on, show you guys what I've done. And um, I'm sure you guys ain't gonna wa wanna, wa wanna watch me paint. Um, so I'll get all the first paint on, take all the windows out, and then um, we'll take it all from there. Okay, so let's just crack on. Okay guys, all the ceiling's done. I've sealed all under here, all underneath the window ledges. All underneath there. Couldn't get that in the camera, sorry. All around here, all nicely sealed up. And I've managed to do a pretty neat job of the ceiling running across. All the way across, sorry about the camera there. And all the way all around the back as well. Just take it around the back, all up there. over there I'm not sure if it's coming out on the camera I'm tiptoeing right now all up there and also all down the sides as well I'm not sure if I'll be able to get down there no can't wait to see the back of this plant to be honest with you every time I used to go into the old filter box it used to cut me and give me paper cuts horrible plants they are but these feathery things on them they're beautiful but all the green leaves and everything else, horrible. Can't wait to see the back of it. So that's all that done. I'm just gonna let all the sealant settle down. Um, last time once I, when I put it all, this one all here, all over here, about half an hour or so, it was all pretty dry. The weather's nice and cool and dry today as well. So it should help it dry up quicker. See, I've improved on my seeding stuff. All nicely, all done. So now, we're just gonna get, let that settle down, and then we can start cracking on with the paint. Okay, so I'll catch you in a sec. Okay. All the painting's done. All the windows are all painted. I've decided to paint them. I'll put them back on there. Once all the um, frame was painted and all the window ledges were painted, I decided it didn't look finished. So I've ended up painting them all. Coming back round to the, coming to the back, sorry. All the backs are all done as well. So, ceiling done, painting done. The windows that were fitted in are screwed back in. And you can see I've got handles on um, these ones all over there. So I can just pull them out and also over there as well. So, get in there. I've even painted up all up the um, roof rafters all up there and a little bit under there as well so I've got the mitosaur out I'm gonna start getting that bad boy up set it up start chopping away the cladding I'm gonna start off on the back So I'm possibly going to be starting off from here and I also want to get to the side over there my neighbours let me take down the fence which is very kind of her so I can actually get around there and do all the cladding around there as well so I'm not going to do any videoing while I'm cladding around the back I'm going to do a video for you guys of cladding all this up chopping up all the cladding getting it all up and I'll just crack on with the rest and hopefully it will help some of you guys give you some of you guys an idea about to put all this cladding stuff up as well 
you can mix it up a little bit with your twist as well if you've got any better ideas okay so the sun is on my side today i've got beautiful weather out still so let's just start chopping up and get some of these clamps on okay so i'll catch you guys in a sec okay i've cut the cladding down they're exactly 3.6 meters in length and if you come around here the drop the height sorry from the top of that window edge all the way to the bottom all the way running across and around the side down there it's all 1.8 meters so it's actually chopping the um, 3.6 meter ones into half and I'm getting double use out of them um, I've already put one up over here looking nice already just with a one I've screwed it into place oops sorry I've screwed it into place and what I've done I've pre-drilled one two three all obviously measured out evenly and I've just screwed them through with a 30 mil screw, um, screw. You can get um, clips for these that will hold the brackets in um, but it works out like for 50 clips I think it's 30 quid and I'm not going to pay 30 quid for a couple of clips where you can just pre-drill them and just use your own screws yeah wood screws obviously because we're going into the wood behind so it's looking all nice so i've got the first one on and all i did as well of course you're just gonna get your leveler for the first one and once you're dead center screw it into place and bush 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 now you ain't going wonky or bent just following the line all the way running down so let's start cracking on there um i've cut plenty cladding over there possibly will do most of it or just yeah possibly you end up doing most of it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put back put some music on for you guys um sit back and just watch me in rabbit mode get this all done let's go side all nicely cladded up this is um, composite cladding and the color of it is charcoal gray just in case anybody wants to know what color it is 
So one side done. I've got one more side like this, literally around there. So I'm going to pop over to my neighbor's side now and do that. Plus I've got pipes coming out from there. Um, so I'm going to need to whole saw them out and I'll just be back on the video again once I come round to do this final last bit and it will all be done so I'll catch you guys in a sec okay then guys all complete all the cladding done All finished up nicely. Piece of cake to put this stuff on, by the way. Coming round to the back. All done all over here as well. I'm not going to be able to get a video properly down the side here but I'm not sure if you guys can see all the side is all complete as well so what I'm gonna do now I've cut one of the edgings down just standing right here um, when it came to the side of these what I was gonna do I was gonna use some glue and glue it down the side instead of drilling holes here but then there's nothing in the gap here to bond with the glue. There's too, I can get my finger down there. So what I've done, I've used these little drill pieces here. This one here, I think they're called sinkers or counters, something like that. But I'm just showing you guys anyway. So these are the drill pieces that I used. So I can count the um, screws in. And I've put one there, a bush bush all the way down, just three holding it in. So now it's sunk in and it's all flush. And once I put the top, um, the corners in, that's how it's gonna be all looking like that. So you won't see none of those screws. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a blob on here and there using this stuff here. Sticks like, yeah, just like that. So I'll get the um, corner pieces on now, get it all done, and should be all complete. Pretty much all done. Um, I've just put a little corner piece there as well to finish all that off. Um, what I might do, I might put one of those non-grip, um, non-slip, sorry, um, step things. Uh, I'm not sure what that's called as well. Simon, if you're watching this, mate, just let me know what it's called. I think it's a non-slip step piece. Anyway, Simon will correct me with that. So all good all coming together well it's all come together now pretty much all finished i'm going to wash the roof as well get it all nice and sparkly all bling blingy because there's all cement and bits and bobs and quite dusty at the top there it's not the actual match the actual color of it so make all that all nice and pretty get the corners in give everything a nice wipe down and this will all be done Gonna have a little problem when I come around to the front bits here to stick these um, corner pieces in, and that's because some of these blocks here they're standing. Most of it's flush, but as you can see, this one here ain't gonna be able to get the corner piece in. So if I sit it up against there, there's gonna be a big gap in between there. So what I might do, I might seal all down here since i've started improving a piece on my seats 
sealing skills. Seal it all down there. And that should finish that. The ceiling don't look good. I could um, possibly cut these pieces out and have it all nice and flush. But we'll see how that goes anyway. We're not even there yet. So let's start cutting up all the corner pieces, pop them all in and, um, and it will all be done. Okay, so I'll catch you guys in a sec. Okay, everything complete. I've put all the corners on, all the edgings. All nicely done. Glued on. I'm gonna put some uh, ceiling underneath here. I've just run out of it, so I'll have to do that another time. But all the edgings are all complete now. I've already gave it a little wash down as well. So, all down here as well. Come into this little bit, bit here. I've angled them in as best as I can. They're not perfect, but I'll have to live with that. So, that's all that. I've got this um, extension lead going into the filter house, which is um, running a couple of the equipment in there. I've got the electrician that's going to be coming on Monday and I'm going to be putting possibly a lantern over here and also one over there and get a couple of sockets, as well, double sockets into the filter house. So I'm not going to mess about with any of the electrics myself. So I try to leave the professional to deal with all that. I've also washed all the, washed all the roof as well couldn't do a good job on this side there's no guttering running on the roof so I didn't want any of the dirty water or the tap water and plus all the concrete bits to fall into the pond so I've just brushed it a little bit as much as I can into a pan not a pan sorry into a dustpan and um, yeah so that hasn't been washed on that side but all the rest I've managed to wash all the other roof as well. All the cladding's all washed up. Everything is all complete now. I've even um, quickly run to um, B&Q and got some couple of bags of fresh bark. Dropped that all everywhere. So that's all complete as well. It's looking really nice. All finished, done and dusted. Thank God. To be honest with you, it's actually come out much better than I thought. I'm actually impressed with myself for make, doing this build from start to end. So that's pretty good stuff. To be honest with you, the only thing I regret is I wish I went bigger. Possibly all the way up to the, that fence there, which is Sorry, not that one there. Yeah, that one there, which is like another meter and a half. You never know what can happen next season. So, before I end the um, this vid, I'd like to say um, thank you very much to a couple of the guys um, while they were watching the um, build of this um, progress of this filter house. I'd like to say thank you to Tom, Prin Tom Prinville. I'm not sure if I've pronounced the last name, mate. S sorry, um, correct. But I'd like to give, uh, say thank you to Tom and also to Lee Hatfield for giving me um, ideas and sending me links over on how to go about doing these soji windows, which was very useful. So. I'd like to say thank you very much for both you guys and um, also a couple of you chaps um, put to my attention to put all the um, backing boards on before tiling onto the plywood so I'd like to say thank you to a few of you guys as well for pointing that out um, filter house is all complete and 
this is going to be a wrap for this video okay guys um project with this filter house all done all complete everything finished up um last part of this video for building this filter house sounded like a right wally there what i'm saying um one last thing uh just before i end the video uh the competition that i'm running on sizing up the marisai karashigwe i'm gonna be announcing the winner on wednesday and today is saturday so you guys have still got the chance to subscribe to the channel and enter into the competition um i will end it wednesday so i'll be releasing the vid video for wednesday so that that will be your last chance to subscribe and also to enter the competition so you can win the um Goshiki statue so thank you all for joining the competition and putting in the um for putting in the size of the fish uh a few of you out there have got it pretty much spot on so i'd like to say thank you very much what are you two doing? What are you two doing, mate? You're trying to get YouTube famous? Come on, come out of the video. Anyway, um, dogs are trying to get into the video. Um, they, I think they want their own YouTube channel, to be honest with you. But um, it's all about the quiz here. So thank you very much for everyone watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please, hit the subscribe button which is somewhere here I think and if you like the videos uh, give us a thumbs up if you don't like the videos uh, you can give us a thumbs down either thumbs uh, we'll collect them no probs you can hit the bell button somewhere down somewhere along here uh, so you can get notified on all the other new videos that I upload and yeah so that's about it thank you very much for watching this um, progress of the filter house all take care until the next one thank you very much